Awesome blessings. My name is Pastor Prince Nsonga, and in today's Kings Manu, I want us to look at a certain topic rejected but selected. Rejected but selected. We're going to look at this individual, Jephthah. Um, our reading is from Judges 11, verse 1 to 4. Now, Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty warrior. But he was the son of a harlot. Gilead was Jephthah's father, and Gilead's wife bore him sons. And when his wife's sons grew up, they threw Jephthah out and said to him, You shall not have an inheritance in our father's house, for you are the son of another woman. And if we go down to verse 6 and uh, sorry verse 5 and the Ammonites made war against Israel the elders of Gilead went to bring Jephthah out of the land of Tob so when Jephthah was rejected by his own stepbrothers and they threw him out of the house what happened was that Israel entered a certain position, a phase, where they were in a battle with the Ammonites. And Jephthah was a man of skill in terms of fighting. He was a warrior. And at that time, because Israel didn't have a king, they were under the judges, they had no other person to lead them, but the same person that they had rejected, the same person that they had thrown out. So they sent the elders and they went to a certain land where he was caught up and they had to negotiate with him. They had to beg him. If you continue reading down, you hear where the leaders, I mean, the elders told him to say, please come back home, be our leader and help us fight this war. Without you, we won't make it. And Jephthah asked them to say, if really you take me back, are you going to consider me as your leader? And they agreed that you're going to be our leader. So you see, he was rejected, but at a certain time, he was selected to be a leader. Most times, or let me say all the time by experience and by the scriptures, people that have an agenda for humanity ordained by God at a certain point will be rejected. If truly you're going to change your family, you're going to change your community, you're going to change a nation, at a certain point, you'll be rejected. Now, that rejection is not the literal or basic, basic or the same rejection. No, it is a certain kind of selection ordained by the Lord. You'll be rejected, but the Lord is selecting you for a purpose. Remember, even when God was about to serve um, his people by making sure that Egypt preserved their food and their resources. He had to make one individual get rejected and get selected in another land. So you see, most times when God has an agenda with you to change your family, to change your community, to change a nation, at a certain point, you will feel rejected. And let me encourage you, that rejection does not end there. God is on a journey with you to get selected in order to change uh, your name, to change your family, to change your community, and to change your nation. And you never know the plan of God over your life. So be encouraged. Now, let me, let me um, talk about these two things, or let me remind you of these two things. Um, why at times you'll be rejected at a certain point, God wants to extract you from your comfort zone and remind you that you're on a journey with him. And to really, really make you understand that your progress or your tomorrow is in his hands. Your help doesn't come from the east, from the west. It comes from the Lord. And I want to encourage you lastly, stand firm. If you're passing through rejection, please be reminded God is selecting you for your agenda tomorrow because your rising is great not just for you but for your family for your community and for your nation you can never know you are the next solution for your nation and may god richly bless you and inspire you to stay strong and be focused i love you